In this video, we will demonstrate how to install Home Assistant in Docker. We'll start with Docker itself, then we will show how to install in Docker Compose, and finally in Portainer. Docker is a containerization technology that allows the creation and use of containers, which are processes that run independently of each other. This maximizes the use of resources on a system. It can run on a wide range of devices, and many thousands of Docker container images are available. Docker Compose is a tool developed to help define and share multi-container applications using a YAML file to define the container environment. The YAML file can be backed up and used to deploy the same container environment to another environment. Portainer is a web front-end for the management of a Docker environment. This is a smaller learning curve than using the command line. You can see the state of individual containers and start and stop them. You can also manage multiple Docker instances. We'll assume you already have a Docker environment on your system. If you don't, we have a link to some helpful videos on installing Docker and Portainer in our other channel, HomeLab Addict. First of all, we want to create the container. We do this by using the following command. We'll stop at this point to break the command down. Docker run is the run command to launch a container. D means that the container will run detached from the running terminal. Name is the name you want to give the container, in this case Home Assistant. Privileged gives the container root privileges to all devices on the system Docker is running on. Restart equals unless stopped means that the container will be kept running until manually stopped. P opens a network port, in this case the standard Home Assistant port 8123. E sets environment variables, in this case TZ means time zone. V creates volumes. Network equals host uses the host's network stack inside the container. Finally, the bottom line is the image itself, which will be downloaded. When the command is run, you'll initially get a message saying that the image can't be found locally. That's expected. It will then proceed to download or pull the image. This may take a few minutes. Once complete, the image will run and you can configure Home Assistant. This step will be covered later in this video, as it's identical for all three methods. Docker Compose uses a YAML file to create containers. The benefit of this is that configuration is kept in one file meaning you can back up your containers. It's also beneficial to choose location to keep your Docker set up. For the purposes of this video, we're using slash opt. Some people use their home directory, or you can create your own structure. We're going to use the nano editor to edit docker-compose.yaml. If the file doesn't yet exist, it will be created. In this example, we've already got an entry for Portainer. Simply move to the bottom of this file, or the top if freshly created, and create the following. It's replicated in the description below for you to paste in. Similar to the command line, we give a container name, image details, volumes, restart, privilege setting and network mode. To save the file, press Ctrl X, press Y to confirm, and press Enter to save the file. To bring the containers in your docker compose file up, use the following command docker-compose up-d Docker compose will now download and create the container. Again this may take a few minutes.
Portainer makes it easy for those not used to the command line to run Docker containers and to control them. Go to Volumes in the left pane and New Volume. Give it a name like Home Assistant Hyphen Data. Leave the other settings as default and click Create the Volume. Once you get the confirmation, go to Containers in the left pane and add container. Give it a name, Home Assistant. For the image, enter Home Assistant forward slash Home Assistant colon latest. This will ensure that every time the container is started, it pulls the newest image. Click Add a Network Port. Enter 8123 in both boxes. Scroll down and click Volumes. Click Map Additional Volume. In Container, enter slash config. In Volume, Click and create the volume we created earlier. Click env and add an environment variable. Enter tz and in the value enter your time zone, in this case Europe slash London. Click restart policy and select always or unless stopped. Click Runtime and Resources and turn on Privileged Mode. Finally, click Deploy this container. This may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer and your internet speed. When it's completed, you'll get a confirmation and you'll be returned to the container screen showing the running containers. If Home Assistant is showing as green, you're all set. Open a browser tab. You should be able to access Home Assistant at the IP of the Docker machine, followed by the port 8123. If all is well, you'll get a Home Assistant logo and a wizard asking you to fill in a few details. If you get a message advising Home Assistant is still setting up, give it a few more minutes and try again. Enter your name, a username and password, and click Create the Account. On the next screen, enter a name for your home, choose your location and unit system, then click Next. On the next screen, you'll be asked if you want to send data to the developers, then click Next. Finally, Home Assistant will show a summary screen containing detected services. Click Finish. Home Assistant is now ready to be set up. Home Assistant on Docker has some differences from the OS install we've covered previously on this channel. Primarily, this is that the Docker install has no managed updates and no add-ons. That's not really an issue, you just stop Home Assistant, back up and pull the latest image. And for add-ons, you'd use containers for things like Node-RED or an MQTC broker and use an integration. The scope of this is beyond this guide, so will be covered in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at my Patreon. The details are below.